Greetings, I am the wrestling fan. I may not be the best wrestling fan, but I am the finest. And just like a professional wrestler, I can't seem to stay retired, especially when there's so much abortion pro wrestling out there just waiting for my unwanted opinions. Even though I'm sure a lot of it will make me want to lobotomize myself so those new memories will never be memoried again. Oh, speaking of, did you know that the HBK Michael Shawns came out of retirement to reform D Last Generation X with 3H name Paul Levescue to take on the brothers of destruction, Mayor Kane, and under I'll continue to taker Vince McMahon's money at Crown Jewel 2018? Damn it. Didn't work. Although now I think that Braun Strowman's reign as WWE Universal Champion was actually really entertaining. Oh no. Gah, mama mia! Okay, no more stalling. And look, I've read about this event, and I know that apparently it's a big ass pile of dog diarrhea, so I'm sure a lot of you are watching this video going, Hey, the wrestling fan, why don't you review the entire event? It deserves it! Well, first of all, shut up. And second, it's been a little while since I've done this, and just like a sailor who's been on shore leave and is just now getting back onto a boat, I need to get my sea legs back. Also, I don't want to. So DX comes out first, throwing glow sticks into the crowd, so, you know, they at least get something out of this. Because a good wrestling match ain't gonna be it. Both Trips and HBK do their usual shtick, probably hoping it'll start feeling like 97, 06, or even 09 again. Same. Triple H, a 14-time world champion. Shawn Michaels, a multi-time champion. Four. The answer you're looking for is four, Cole. I mean, I can Wikipedia stuff. Why can't you? Wait. Shawn's bald now? Oh, that hurt right in the childhood. Kane and Undertaker come out next, which made me happy because while waiting through their entrances, I cooked myself lunch, took a nap, did laundry, took another nap, and beat every story mode on Fire Pro Wrestling World. I would have played WW2K20, but it still doesn't work. 3H name and the Mayor from Hell start out, and it's... fine. With Hunter bumping his pimpled ass off for the monster, before Sean tags in for the first time in eight years. And honestly, he... He doesn't look bad. He's ready. Shawn Michaels off the top rope. Run across the ring. Shawn Michaels oh! with a neck break. Into the ropes up over the top. Wait for the sunset flip. Undertaker is tagged in, and we get Shawn and Taker again. And it's just like watching their classics from WrestleMania 25 and 26. Only slower, and not nearly as good. All four men battle, and Trips gets thrown into the corner and outside the ring. And this is where he injured his pectoral muscles. You can see him relay this message to the HBK. Now that's a look of panic if I've ever seen one. And look, I'm not gonna make fun of this because it's a shame that it happened. It's absolutely nobody's fault, but it is the catalyst for this match becoming the dumpster fire that it did. Can be any quit in HBK tonight. Yeah, oh, look at that. Kane and Taker must have joined the Nation of Domination. We are the Nation of Domination! All four men fight, and you can just tell that H's injury has thrown a huge monkey wrench into the plans they had for this match. What I don't get, considering the combined 1,000 years of experience between these four, is why not change the match on the fly and have Sean work it and use Triple H's injury in the story of it? It's time for another good idea, bad idea. Bad idea. Michaels make it to Triple H! Here comes the game! Kane lifting Triple H up and slamming him. You can imagine the big red machine's gonna be looking for his brother, The Undertaker. Well, no shit, Sherlock. I mean, who the hell else is he gonna be looking for when he's tagging in? Glacier? The Repo Man? The Gobbledygooker? Your ex-wife? <laughs> So Sean tags back in to battle Kane, and god damn is everyone showing their age. Sean still looks fine, but he's definitely not the HBK of old. Or young, I guess. Okay, this part's weird. Taker gets sweet chin music, but falls against the ropes. Almost rolls to the outside, but instead back into the ring, and then pops up. Worst superkick ever! 
Taker gets tired of this match sucking and decides to make it interesting by using a table, but Trips ruins it and saves Sean. And now Undertaker into the barricade! Uh, Triple A. And now Undertaker into the barricade! Uh, Triple A. I, I don't know what that was. Kane chokeslams Trips through an announce table and give him a lot of credit for taking that bump because I doubt it felt very good. The crowd actually starts chanting, this is awesome. The onslaught just continues. Which I think shows that they don't get much pro wrestling there. Taker gets Sean back in the ring, and the brothers make Sean regret coming out of retirement, which I doubt he needed help with. This part of the match isn't bad per se, but it's just really average stuff, and everyone here looks more blown up than my toilet after a Chipotle lunch. So Michael Shawns and Mayor Kane fight on the top turnbuckle, and... <laughs> Kane's mask comes flying off. Right to the ribs! Oh no! We've never seen Kane's face before! Except a lot! It's now Sean's turn to try to make this match more interesting, and he goes for a moonsault onto the brothers, but they don't catch him, and Sean's face slams against the floor. What in the Terry Funk is going on here? Is he smiling? Shades of 96! Really? Shades of 1996. Nope. Bad idea. Trying to drag himself to the corner. He makes a tag. Here comes the game. 3H name fights off the brothers, even though he only has one good arm. Because of course he does. But Taker gets him in the Hell's Gate. The ring. Went for the chunk slip. Sweet chin music. Oh, he landed. Okay. That was pretty cool. I'll give it some kudos for that. And now the brothers oh, of destruction no. sit up again. How much do these four men have left? <laughs> I think their tanks were empty long ago, Cole. Sean hits a super kick on both brothers, and Trips hits a kind of sort of pedigree on Kane to end this debacle once and for all. So D Last Generation X are the winners. But let's be honest, <laughs> nobody won here. I mean, just look at Sean's face. That tells the whole story right there. Well, this sums up my reaction. That's a shame. It reminded me of going to an independent wrestling show and watching some over-the-hill wrestlers, who the company paid way too much money for, stumble and fumble their way through a match, while probably hoping deep inside that the crowd remembers them when they were in their prime. However, I don't fully blame these guys. Triple H's injury threw the entire match into disarray, and I'm sure if that hadn't happened, the match would have been... passable, at best. But, look, all four of these guys, none of them were in ring shape to perform that night. And they probably just thought because it was the four of them and they'd worked so much in the past, it was just going to be an easy day at the office. That fault lies with them. But I'm sure each of them were paid millions to perform that night, so, um, I guess some good came out of this? But, in my not-so-humble opinion, this match sucked butt through an anchovy-flavored straw. And no hammer and chisel was big enough to erase it from my vast wrestling knowledge. Although, I'll try to find them. Do you have any bad matches you'd like for me to review in the future? Then please, leave a comment below. Or don't! I've been The Wrestling Fan, and I will be in the next video as well. See you then. Quiet on the set. And a, a quick side note here, because I know that these Saudi shows have been very controversial, but it does kind of make you wonder a little bit, because they made a shit ton of bank from these events. And when they were furloughing and firing employees or wrestlers throughout this year, why couldn't they have just used some of that money to be able to keep them? Hmm.